Are you worried about the state of the economy and unsure on how to protect your investments? Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors in history, he has a critical warning that you need to hear. Mr. Buffett has sounded the alarm bell and is urging investors like you to stop mindlessly shopping and start strategically preparing for what lies ahead. In this video, we'll dive deep into his critical warning uncovering the hidden dangers lurking in today's market and providing actionable steps that will help you safeguard your financial future. This video is not just a wake-up call. It's a guide on how to navigate these turbulent waters and protect your financial future. So let's dive right in and discover how we can prepare ourselves for whatever comes our way. Don't wait until it's too late. Start taking action now. All right, so let's start with the basics. Something Warren Buffett has stressed time and again, understanding market dynamics is like having the steering wheel in your hands when you're driving a car. Imagine this, you wouldn't just hop into a vehicle and start cruising without knowing how to work the brakes or accelerator, right? That's a recipe for disaster. Similarly, when it comes to investments, diving in without a grasp of market dynamics is like diving blindfolded. You're essentially navigating the financial highway with no idea on how to respond to the twists and turns. Warren Buffett knows that, and that's why he emphasizes that to make wise investment choices. We need to know how the investment world's heartbeat works. It's market dynamics. It's not about fortune telling or following the latest trends. It's about understanding what makes the market tick. Now, why is this so crucial? Well, just as knowing your way around a car's controls keeps you safe on the road, grasping market dynamics keeps your investments in check. Market dynamics dictate how your assets move, and in the world of investments, this knowledge is gold. Without it, you're just taking wild shots in the dark. Warren Buffett himself compares the investment world to driving, and it makes perfect sense. So whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, it's essential to wrap your head around market dynamics because they're the difference between informed decisions and reckless gambles. Now, let's dig into a key aspect of Warren Buffett's critical warning to investors, understanding margin calls. So what are margin calls? And why should you care? Well, let's break it down in plain and simple terms. Imagine you're investing in stocks and you've borrowed some money to make those investments. Now, if the value of your investments takes a nosedive, your broker might ring the alarm bells and say, hey, you need to deposit more money into your account. That's what's called a margin call. Now, let's talk about the mechanics of margin accounts. When you open a margin account, you're essentially getting the green light to borrow money to supercharge your investments. It's like turbocharging your car for a race. But just like in racing, you need to handle it with caution. Warren Buffett, the investing guru, once said, the stock market is designed to transfer money from active to the patient. That's right. And if you're too active, especially on margin, you might be in for a bumpy ride. A margin call happens when the value of your securities drops below a certain level. This drop could be due to market volatility, a sudden stock price plummet, or other factors. Now, let's talk about the risks and consequences. When you receive a margin call, it's not just a friendly reminder. It's a sign that your investments are taking a hit and you need to take action. You can either deposit more funds into your account or sell some of your assets to cover the gap. If you can't meet the margin call, your broker may liquidate your positions to limit the risk that they're exposed to. This means your investments might get sold at a less than ideal price and you could be hit with substantial losses. Warren Buffett's message here is crystal clear. Margin trading can be a powerful tool, but it can also be a dangerous one if not used with caution. It's like handing a double-edged sword. If you're not careful, it can cut deep into your financial portfolio. Next, let's break down the euro dollar system and what it's all about. To put it in simple terms, it's like a game of hide and seek that the US dollar plays outside the US. In the wise words of Warren Buffett, it's like these dollars take a European vacation, but they don't always come back home. The euro dollar system is essentially US dollars deposited in banks outside of the United States, primarily in Europe. But here's the kicker. They can also be found in places like the Bahamas and the Cayman Islands. It's a significant part of the global financial system, so you might want to pay attention. Now, let's dive into the story of how this system came to be and why it's such a big deal. After World War II, Europe was in a bit of a financial mess. Well, that's when the United States stepped in with a helping hand, known as the Marshall Plan, to help rebuild the continent. This led to a surplus of US dollars floating around in Europe. Over time, a separate market developed for these dollars. That was 
guess what? Free from those pesky US regulations. And that, my friends, is the birth of the euro dollar system. Now it's become one of the world's largest international capital markets. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room, the risks associated with euro dollar deposits. While higher returns are tempting, they come with their own set of problems. You see, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, or FDIC, which is a US government agency that insures bank deposits, doesn't cover euro dollar deposits. So they're like the wild west of the financial world, exposed to the economic and political conditions of the country that they're in. Warren Buffett once said, risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. And in the case of euro dollars, that risk is tied to the fact that these deposits aren't protected by the safety net that the US deposits typically enjoy. Warren Buffett once said, risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. And that's spot on when it comes to dealing with euro dollars. Let's take a look at the world of interest rates, margin calls, and the impact that they have on investors, a topic that Warren Buffett himself has stressed the importance of. First off, how do rising interest rates connect with margin calls? Well, think of margin calls as the financial lifeguards that ensure that you don't drown in debt when you're trading on margin. When you borrow money to invest, you're essentially playing with leverage. And while that can amplify your gains, it also magnifies your losses. When interest rates start to climb, they can increase the cost of borrowing money. Now, if you've invested using borrowed funds and the value of your investments begins to drop, it can put you in a tricky situation. As the cost of borrowing rises and your investments lose value, you might not have enough equity in your account to meet your margin requirements. This can trigger a margin call, where you're asked to deposit more funds to cover the shortfall. But how do interest rates actually influence the value of securities? Well, it all boils down to the fundamental relationship between interest rates and bonds. When interest rates rise, newly issued bonds come with higher yields, making the older, lower yielding bonds less attractive. When folks are out there chasing after the newer, more enticing bonds, the prices of the older bonds tend to drop. So if you've invested in those older bonds on margin, it can be a rocky ride. The decrease in bond prices can affect your overall portfolio value and it can lead to the margin call scenario that we just discussed. Here's some strategies for investors in the current market. All right, let's get practical and talk about some strategies for investors in today's market. And believe me, you're going to want to pay attention to this. First things first, what's your unique selling proposition, USP, in your investment strategy? As Warren Buffett has suggested, having a clear and unique approach can set you apart from the crowd. What is it about your investment philosophy that makes it different? Identifying and articulating your USP can be a game changer. But here's another crucial point. Know your target audience. You wouldn't sell ice cream to penguins, right? Similarly, you've got to understand who you're investing for and what their preferences are. Are you looking for quick gains or playing the long game? Knowing your investment goals and risk tolerance is key to making the right decisions. You've got to remember, it's not just about what you invest in, it's about who you're investing for. Now, let's talk about diversification. This isn't just a fancy word, it's a lifesaver in the investment world. Diversification is like your safety net. It's all about spreading your investments across various assets, and it serves multiple purposes. First, it's a risk management tool. If one investment takes a nosedive, the others, ideally, can hold you steady. Secondly, it can open doors to potentially higher returns. Different assets perform well at different times. And thirdly, diversification can help you achieve more consistent performance. It's like having a team where each player brings a unique strength. Even if one player has an off day, the others can step up to ensure that the team's successful. As Warren Buffett once said, the most important thing to do if you find yourself in a hole is to stop digging. Diversification can be your ladder out of that hole. If you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and watch this one as well. Thanks for watching.